A Place for Pluto, written by Steph Wade, art by Melanie Demma, published by Capstone Editions. For the better part of forever, Pluto was a planet, one of the famous nine. He was the smallest and the farthest from the sun, but he was proud just the same. Then one day, Saturn, with her rings flashing, and Jupiter, with his entourage of moons beside him, told Pluto the worst news ever. Uh, you're not a planet anymore. You're just not big enough. Sorry. Even though Pluto orbited around the sun and was mostly round, the creatures on Earth decided that he was too small. But I'm in all the school books. Time to rewrite history. I don't have time for this. I've got visitors to prepare for. Pluto was crushed. He tried to protest it. Hashtag Pluto belongs. Not fair. Stand with Pluto. But it was no use. Feeling sad and rejected, Pluto left with Charon and his other four moons by his side to find his place in the galaxy. As Pluto moved along, his friend Haley's comet streaked past. Haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I get that a lot. Haley was a comet and still part of the solar system, but comets have tails, and Pluto did not. He wasn't a comet or a planet. He was a nobody, feeling more blue than brown. Pluto kept moving. When Pluto saw Jim, Percy, and Ori crashing in as dusty, rocky comet tails, he wondered if he could join them. The Met... The meteoroids were always having fun and clowning around. This time they were trying to smash into Earth. You should try this, Pluto! No thanks, Earth. No thanks. Earth is kind of like a mother to me. Then Ida the asteroid orbited by. Pluto and Ida were nearly the same size. Pluto thought he'd finally figured out his true identity. Hey, Ida, do you mind if I join you for a spin in the asteroid belt? Wish you could, Pluto, but the rule book says rocks only. You know asteroids are rocks, right? Pluto wasn't a planet or a comet or an asteroid. He missed being a planet. He missed his old friends. He missed feeling like he belonged. Too small to be a planet. Too big to be a rock. I used to fit in here, but now I do not. No one in the solar system was a match for Pluto. He spun around the sun like everyone else, but he wasn't a planet, or a comet, or an asteroid, or a meteoroid. Pluto had nowhere to turn. He was about to give up when he saw someone he'd never seen before. He felt like he was looking in a mirror. Pardon me, I don't mean to sound rude, but what are you? I am a dwarf planet. My name is Eris, and these are my friends, Halmea, Makamak, and Ceres. Pluto stared in wonder at the four dwarf planets. They were too small to be planets, but too big to be rocks. They were not planets or comets or asteroids or meteoroids. They were just like him. You're just who I've been searching for. Really? Then you should join us. Pluto felt more like himself than ever before. He couldn't wait to tell his old friends about his new ones. Turns out his old friends missed him too. We're sorry, Pluto. Just because you're not a planet anymore doesn't mean we don't love you. Pluto was over the moon. He was part of the solar system with friends both old and new. He smiled an intergalactic smile that was out of this Milky Way. Let's celebrate with some chocolate. These feelings warm me to the core. I can feel the love. Y'all make me dizzy. Dwarf planet has a nice ring to it. I'm so glad you're making friends, honey. Forever neighbors, dwarf planets rock. Glad you're not feeling blue anymore. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Way to go, little man, till we meet again. What's the deal with Pluto? 
1930, Pluto was discovered as the ninth planet in the solar system. In 2006, Pluto was told he was not a planet anymore. Bummer. Poor Pluto. Why? Scientists decided that to be a planet, it must orbit around the sun, have a round shape, be able to clear its own orbit by pulling asteroids toward itself, making the asteroids part of the planet. Pluto does orbit around... Pluto does orbit around the sun and is mostly round, but Pluto is small, only half the size of the United States, and shares the area around its orbit with Neptune and many other large objects in an area called the Jupiter Belt. But Pluto isn't alone. Other dwarf planets like Cirrus, Eris, Haumea, and Makamaka cannot clear an object out of their paths either.